with Photoshop 2018 CC version, you have a new pen tool. It's called the Curvature Pen Tool, right here, Curvature Pen Tool. It's nested in with all the other pen tools, third one down, but it works differently and more user-friendly in manner than the other pen tools. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to use our old friend the pair, but you see I've erased all the tool tips that are on that used to be on here because we don't need them anymore. Um, I'm going to just click in a few spots to make a rough shape of the pair. Okay? So think of it as a string that I'm kind of dragging around. Any place where I want to add a point, I can just click and I can drag it once I've added it. And I can click in between any two points to drag out a curve and make it fit better. So any place where I need to kind of bend the curve, I just click on the points, click on the line that the pen tool makes, the path, and drag it out and align it right to the edge of whatever I'm making. Ah, and now the problem is, right up here in this section, these are all places where I'm changing direction. In order to change direction, though, all you have to do is double click on the point, and then I can drag again out here and create whatever I want to create as far as a curve goes. I need to add a couple points in here where I've got the little points and drag to those points where they are. These are also change direction points, so I'm going to double click on those. Back here, double click, and then just drag the curve back in where I want it. So it's so much more straightforward than having to remember any kind of key modifier, keystroke modifiers. Uh, you don't have to use the shift, the alt, the option, or any of those, and you can see how quickly I modified that. In order to get the little segment in the middle, just make sure your path is active and then you can still come in here and click and I'm going to just make a couple of points, drag that in between so it aligns with my little hollow space there, come back here. Now remember those are going to be automatically curved until I double click on them and then I can change direction and make the little hollowed out part. And it's all part of the same path now. Now I can come in here. I'm going to go to a new layer. Up here, oops, go to my paths panel first. Go to stroke subpath if I want to with the brush. Um, I haven't set that, so I'm not going to do that. But that will give you a stroke around all the path edges. I'm going to fill it instead. Oops, sorry. Let me get the whole thing selected here. It was selecting just the last part of it. If I go back to this part, you can see that those points were just selected, so it was only going to stroke the subpath there. So I'm just going to click on the whole path to come in here and fill it with the foreground color. Let me fill it with black instead so you see. Or I can fill it with a pattern, for instance, right there. Let me come in and fill it with a bunch of rocks. And there we go. So we have the, pat, the pen tool being much more user-friendly and the ability to edit it on the fly more easily. Um, again, if I want to stroke it, I need to come into the brush tool, select whichever brush I want. Um, that one looks like it might be a pretty good brush. Use a color to contrast so you can see it easily. And that's maybe a bit big. So I want to come in here and go to stroke path. Again, simulate pressure lets the stroke flow in and flow out. So if I do that, you can see it's thinner where it starts and thinner where it ends, but fatter as it's away. I'm going to undo that and show you what it looks like if we don't do the simulate pressure. It's going to be a consistent width all the way around. So that's completely up to you, how you want to stroke your path. In order to get the path out of your way so you don't see it anymore, just click on the bottom of the paths panel, and that's all you have to do. And that is the Curvature Pen Tool. I hope you find it much more user-friendly than the old pen tools. This is the first time I've seen a significant upgrade to the pen tool since I started using Photoshop 
over 20 years ago. So this is huge. Enjoy!